Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October 4th of 2023 well, it is titled IC 2118, the Witch Head Nebula. So what do we see here? Well, this is a nebula known popularly as the Witch Head Nebula, because it may represent a caricature of a witch's head in profile. So you can imagine that you may perhaps imagine that here. And this is actually near the constellation of Orion and in fact near the bright star Rigel, one of the two brightest stars in the constellation and would be located off the bottom of this image as we look toward Orion. Now if you notice the dusty area there it is actually has a bluish color and that is caused by the light of Rigel. So Rigel is a very hot star. Hot stars emit primarily short wavelength light. So in fact most of Rigel's light is emitted in the ultraviolet. But of course what we can see is emitted in the blue and violet portion of the spectrum. Now, when that that light reaches the dust, dust is really good at scattering out those short wavelengths. So they seem to come from all directions. And we will get that light from scattered material will look very blue. The longer wavelengths are better able to penetrate the dust and pass straight through. So when we look at a reflection nebula like this, we will get a bluish color because of the light that is preferentially scattered by those dust grains. Now there's very, very something rather similar here uh, that occurs in our own atmosphere. And why is the sky blue? Well, it's essentially the same reason that we have here. The dust grains here scatter the blue light preferentially. Well, molecules in Earth's atmosphere do the same thing. So molecules of nitrogen and oxygen, which make up the vast majority of Earth's atmosphere, will do the same thing and will scatter that blue light. So what you'll notice is that as the sun sets, it gets redder and redder as it gets close to the horizon. Now the sun isn't changing. It's always exactly the same color. However, when it's looking through more atmosphere close to the horizon, it's better able the molecules are better able to scatter out the blue light and that blue light ends up coming from all directions giving the rest of the sky a blue color and allowing only those longer wavelength red lights to make it through the atmosphere. So when we look at that sunset the red light is what makes it through. The blue light from the sun is scattered all around and gives us the blue sky that we're used to seeing during the day. So that was our picture of the day for October 4th of 2023. It was titled IC 2118, the Witch Head Nebula. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.